It's not a bass. Where is it? Nope. Yeah, it is. Good one. It's a good one. chunk get ready to spawn probably heck yeah well guys as i kind of predicted today the wacky rig i think is going to play a big part in catching some fish moving it super duper slow but there's a lot of fish up here uh, moving around and eating and I think the biggest thing is just kind of Intercepting them as they're moving in and out I mean because they'll feed out in the middle of this pocket and then they'll move up and they'll feed right next to these docks and then You know, they'll be off the front of this dock and then they'll be up under the dock as far as they can get I think these fish are literally just everywhere feeding spawning post spawn I mean, just a little bit of everything water 65 degrees. So I mean they are essentially right in the middle of doing everything that they want to be doing this time of year and so we just got to be there to kind of intercept them as they go through that process but first good fish of the morning right there we're just going to keep that ball rolling i mean if i can catch me a bunch like that i'm not going to be uh pissed i'll tell you that much that's the fun size to catch especially on the spinner rod so we're just going to keep going see what we can run into and enjoy our day skinny dude Shan would say that buddy needs some food and I think that's what he's doing out there getting some food So big that was so big that was the biggest fish in my life oh my gosh i don't even know what i should have i mean I, I don't even think i could have freaking done anything with that one it was so big oh yeah i mean because it was so huge i mean i'm just glad he got off i didn't even want to jack with him uh-huh was i mean it had to be at least a 10 ouncer another little one males they're cruising around up here i've been seeing a whole whole lot of them you know this water is 65 almost 66 but it's not like they all just come up here when it hits 60 and start spawning and i think that's what i'm dealing with here is these fish are a little bit late and the reason for that i think is the fact that the water was way way down just a couple weeks ago so you know when it hit that like magical 60 degree mark there was another one 
when it hit that magical 60 degree mark they uh moved they didn't move up because the water was so low you know they were forced to be offshore just because of how drastic some of these banks are you know i'm sure there's plenty of fish that spawn but like these areas that they want to spawn in like the stuff that i'm in it's completely out of water and it drops like straight off like a ledge and so they had to be out here deep and they didn't have anything to move up on and to spawn on and so now that the water's come back up they've got somewhere to be somewhere to move up to and spawn and so that's a little bitty one again that's what we're dealing with these fish are moving up and even though that water temperature is a little bit warmer than what we would kind of you know associate with spawning temperatures um they waited for that water level to get right as well as the water temperature and so we've had a a little just run of males come up here and they're cruising around eating stuff and so now we just gotta find females find females then it gets it's a completely different ball game that's when it gets fun because those are the bigger fish So today is all about spawn like that is what's going on on this lake and it's all different phases you got them pre-spawn you got them spawning and you've got them post-spawn and so that's what we're going to be focusing on today that's why i'm throwing this little weightless general around because it's one of the most effective tools to get these fish to eat when they get in this kind of spawning mode that they're in right now they'll just start cruising the banks the males the females they just start cruising up and down the banks and essentially what they're looking for is they're looking for somewhere that to them instinctually is a good place to spawn and you know they'll find a piece of hard bottom they'll find a rock they'll find the nook of a tree something like that and they'll start to make a bed but while they're in that kind of cruising weird stage there's not a lot that you can really catch them on a floating worm is a great tool and i probably should have brought some today because that would probably been a fantastic tool to get some of these fish to eat um this weightless general like this just pitching around is a great tool and it's also great once you find one on a bed because then you can pitch it right over in front of their face and just like this you get them to eat and I mean, a lot of them that i'm catching today are all going to be this size because a lot of them are all just little males swimming around looking for a piece of hard bottom where they can make a bed and then attract a female and get her to drop her eggs right there and then he'll fertilize them and the thing about it is though you can go and go and go like this and you can weed through a bunch of smaller ones and all of a sudden run into old big mama and she's you know cruising down the bank and when you drop that sinkhole in front of her it pisses her off just enough that she eats it and you can catch a big fish but you got to weed through a bunch of the smaller ones to get there and there'll be a time in which those big big ones move up and you know and you go from seeing the little one pounder two pounder to seeing those four and five those big females move up and want to eat and it's all about just kind of staying consistent staying out here and it's also about the weather staying consistent and one thing that's going to happen is actually tomorrow we're going to have a front start to move in a lot of cloud cover and then saturday it's going to thunderstorm and that will actually delay that spawn even more and it's one of those things you just got to kind of combat it and when that happens normally you can just go right back offshore where they were before pre-spawn and start catching them there and so that's what we're doing today though we're uh, out here just tossing this thing around weightless here's another one and uh catching some fish and having some fun and catching well not that that's a bluegill right there with a bunch of grass on them but uh yeah we're having fun we're catching some fish and this little weightless general this time of year is one of the best tools to throw to catch them and uh have fun
that's a better fish. <sighs> a lot, 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 a lot of males. That's what I'm dealing with today. There's a little bit deeper spot over here that I've had some success catching some bigger pre-spawn bite females that are just starting to want to move up. I want to go check out here in just a minute, but I just wonder if it's just about weeding through a bunch until you catch some more quality fish i'm not really sure to be honest but i know that as the day is going on the more fish i am catching and a lot of that probably has to do with it's just more and more getting up here wanting to do the buggy and uh make some bass babies so yeah just gonna keep on keeping them i don't know Yeah, I guess. I don't know, and I don't know the process of all that. There we go. Hold on just one second. That's a good one. There we go. There you go, guys. It's a little decent one. I think he was defending a bed i think that's the male i don't see a female but he chased off a few bluegills and i threw my jenner on there and he smoked it so that's fine well boys and girls we've uh we've caught a few fish today it's been tough it has been long it has been drawn out i mean it has just been a bite here there here and there i'm going to put timestamps on this video so it just shows you guys like how long this day has been and how it's progressed out but I am, uh, I'm going to keep on fishing. That was probably one of the bigger ones for today. That first one that we caught this morning was probably the biggest one. She was just a fatty, an absolute chunk. Um, but that one I actually saw earlier and spooked it off of that bed and then came back to it and caught it. And uh, he's super, super locked on that bed. Super defensive. I mean, swimming and, you know, scaring off bluegills, scaring off stuff. And that's actually how I spotted it the first time that I casted to it is that it like sweeped way out and scared a bluegill off of its bed and i saw it move and, and started casting to it so we're gonna fish pretty much back through everything that we've already fished see if we can pick up a few more bites head back over to where we started and finish out this day i'm going to stay out here a couple more hours it's one o'clock right now it's absolutely gorgeous to be totally, totally honest with you it's a little bit of breeze it's in like the low 80s almost no humidity i mean you can't ask for a more perfect day to be out here doing this so we're gonna stay after it. I'm having some fun catching some fish. Hopefully you guys are having fun watching this. We've not caught any big ones, but fish are fish are fish. And uh, we're gonna keep on trying to catch them. All right guys, so let's talk about what I'm throwing and what I'm throwing it on to catch these fish today. So I am throwing a weightless five inch green pumpkin Berkeley Max Scent General. Obviously this one isn't five inches anymore because I've been biting it off. And I'm throwing that on a four odd EWG Fusion 19 hook, some 10 pound, Trilene 100% fluorocarbon 20 pound braid and I'm throwing that on a seven foot medium elite bass Fenwick rod with a Revo X spinning reel and that has been the key to today really the key to today is the way that I've got this thing rigged I'm not rigging it uh, wacky style for the simple fact that I'm throwing it around a whole lot of trees I mean you guys can probably see on the bank all the lay downs the trees everything that i'm throwing this thing around it's just not super advantageous for me to throw it wacky rig style because i'm going to lose way more than i need to when i'm throwing it ewg style i'm going to be able to get it in and out of that cover really easily and as you guys can see these generals 
last a lot longer EWG style as well. Just the rigging method keeps them from ripping right in the center and you can kind of just bite through the top of that worm and keep re-rigging the same worm over and over and over and keep catching fish on it and not go through a bunch of worms in one day. I also like the way that this falls when you rig it this way. It's going to fall obviously killed out with that hook below it like this and instead of getting like the up and down shimmy it almost does like this side to side shimmy which uh i don't know i like it sometimes i've seen days when they want just the wacky rig but i've also seen days when they'll eat the ewg rigged style better than they'll eat the wacky rig style but that's how i've been catching all my fish today it keeps it weedless helps me to get it in and out of all these trees that i'm fishing around and i'm also fishing around some grass as well i mean that one fish that i caught over there had a bed right in the middle of a grass patch it was literally a little hard spot right in the middle of a grass patch and being rigged ewg style allowed me to get that bait in at, in and out of there and be able to make multiple presentations with it without having to pull the grass or muddy the water up or getting a siltation where i couldn't see that fish and so I think it's something to consider. This is also just a super fun way to go catch a bunch of fish this time of year. You know, if you're taking your kids or you just want to go have fun yourself, which that's kind of what today was for me. Just come out here and catch some fish and have some fun. And this is one of the best times of year to do it. And throwing around this little weightless wacky rig, it's super simple. The fish donk it and normally they get it really good and you can catch a whole bunch of fish in one day. And then possibly have the chance of catching a big one, which, I don't know if there's any big ones moved up just yet. I'm sure there are somewhere on this lake, but where I'm at seems to be a bunch of little male bass, but they're all pissed off, which is really fun too. But yeah, that's what I'm throwing, what I'm throwing it on today. If you want to check out any of this gear, make sure to go down into the description, click the links down there, the Tackle Warehouse links, and they will take you to Tackle Warehouse. Make sure to enable cookies, because that lets, you, uh, lets them know that I sent you, and you guys can buy some of this gear and help me out. Small mouth. Nope. It's a really pissed off large one. No? What is that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that even happened. Little oh, bitty. I'm not even understanding how that works. Two outside the mouth, back to back. Huh. 